Is this the first time? Uh, it's the first um, time actually. Okay, so we make a wireless button that you can connect to your phone and then it triggers any application in your phone to, to run. So you can have it linked to your lights in your home and it can control them on, off, do whatever. So this, you, you, on your music system. Some of any IoT device is possible to connect. Yeah, and we, any IoT, yeah. we link with IFTTT. Are you aware of it? Yeah. It's if this, then that. So if oh, I see, flick I is kicked, then trigger this. Yeah. I see. And do you, um, how do you control it then? Like if you wanted to turn the volume up and down, the sonar. It's all predetermined functions. So you can have one click turn sonos on, double click set to maximum volume, hold, mute. I see. And can you switch between different? Um, it, can you have one button on multiple devices? Uh, you need one button to do one. three different triggers, and then you need another button once you've used those three triggers. Okay. So can that particular button control both the sonos and the light? At the same time, you can do that with one click. You can. Yes. How? I can show you on the app. Okay. So we got it here. These are the, the two buttons, Sonos yeah. and the light. So if I click that, you see it's it's connected. Yeah. You click on there. Right now, a single click is control my lights, but as well as that, I can go plus, and then scroll through, find Sonos, and add Sonos as another action, and it clicks that in one click, it does both the lights and Sonos. So how many different gestures can you do? Or Unlimited. For one click, you can have every single thing linked at one go. So then how would it like click is you're trying to do sonos or you're trying to touch the light. It's up to you to program it however you think suits your needs. How many different combinations of clicks can I program? Three. Click, double click, hold. Got it. Alright, thank you. That's alright.